It's time now for Look Least in Local Sports and Sports. The high school basketball teams and the wrestling team will be in action over the weekend as the varsity basketball teams will begin region play this Friday night as they host Burke County at the Benny Ratliff Arena. The varsity girls game will get underway at 6, where the varsity boys game should begin around 7.30 p.m. First region game of the season, the next two games on the road. Next week, Tuesday at New Hampstead, Friday at Islands of Savannah. Next home game after this Friday night's matchup will be with Liberty County the following Friday night at on January the 14th. The wrestling team in action Saturday at BC for the region area dual meets. All that action taking place in Savannah Saturday at Benedictine High School. Burke County head football coach Eric Parker, who won seven region titles in a state championship as Burke's head coach since 2007, has decided to retire from coaching. Parker served that heart attack this season on Halloween night here in J.C. Stadium, recovered but did not return to full-time coaching. Parker told the media that his heart attack played a role in his decision, but he let his principal and superintendent know that a year ago that this season might be his last. It was his 33rd season on high school football sideline. Parker's 2011 team finished 14-1, won a 3A state championship over Peach County 28-14. Parker's one of just 20 coaches who have won a state title as a player and a coach. He was a member of Mitchell Baker's 1983 state championship football team as a player. Countdown to the college national championship football game continues as Georgia meets TCU in Los Angeles for the title game Monday night, 7.30 kickoff on ESPN. Georgia with a chance to go back-to-back. It would mark the first time since Alabama did it back in 2010-2011. Stetson been on the verge of history as he would become only the seventh quarterback in history to win back-to-back title games. Stetson in L.A., movie producers circling ready to produce in the movie of his life. Heck, Rudy of Notre Dame got on the field for just two plays in his career. They made a historic movie, so I promise you Stetson Bennett movie will soon be in production. The only question is who will play the lead role. Bennett has defied all the odds, walk-on quarterback to one national championship, the first in 40 years for Georgia, and just went away from taking the Dogs back-to-back national championships. We'll have the pick in poetic form on Monday. Team flies out Friday to L.A. Dogs still listed as almost a two-touchdown favorite, all set for Monday night, 7.30 on ESPN. If you're headed to Los Angeles, uh, L.A.'s at Debbie Diner when it comes to pregame festivities. They sent a memo to Georgia and TCU fans telling them that there will be no tailgating at the stadium before Monday night's football game. They say there's a limited number of parking passes for $75 for automobiles, $200 for buses to park, but they stress there's simply no tailgating in the parking lot outside the stadium. With the college football game set for Monday night, NFL football takes over this weekend. Full slate. Two games Saturday, full schedule Sunday. ABC has two games on Saturday, the first at 4.30 between Kansas City and the Las Vegas Raiders. Then Saturday night at 8 p.m. is the key game for Jacksonville Jaguars. They host the Tennessee Titans in Jacksonville, winner of the game. Wins division, the fourth seed into the AFC playoff picture. We'll have that game for you on our sister station, AM 1370, WLOP. Once again, the winner of the game wins the division. The loser of the game gets ready for next season. Falcons are in action Sunday at 1 o'clock, taking on Tampa Bay. Tom Brady says he's playing. He says the only time he misses the games when he's injured. He says he and his teammates will be on the field looking to win another football game this Sunday against Atlanta. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.